For explanation only, we will use low resolution 2D representations of our method. We start with a simple regular mesh and compute the sign distance to any desired material geometry. This results in an implicitly embedded surface, and all calculations on the mesh are done respecting this geometry. To understand the level set evolution, we zoomed in on the tip of the notch from the previous example. The colors represent the elastic energy density associated with the current displacement, defined on the underformed reference configuration. For vertices where it exceeds a specific fracture resistance, we evolve the level set function by a speed based on this energy. This automatically moves the interface in the correct direction as it tries to minimize the energy. Note how verification can occur naturally in our framework. For fragment generation, let's look at a ring that we smash into the ground. As the level set moves forward, more and more material becomes damaged. We use the material between the old and the new interface to introduce fragment pieces. Collisions pose a non-trivial challenge for our embedded interfaces, especially with a high number of fragments. Instead of a mesh-based approach, we use only the particles and the current world space coordinates to initialize an Eulerian background grid. We also seed barycentrically bound ghost particles to improve volume coverage and accuracy. All particles are colored by the connected component, and velocities from different components are treated separately. If velocities of two different bodies rasterize to the same grid node, a collision might occur. We then, if necessary, project out the normal components of the respective velocities to avoid contact. The resulting grid velocities are then interpolated back to the mesh particles using flip. This method is based only on the particle positions. However, since all particle-based variables are computed respecting the material geometry, it results in effectively colliding against the embedded surfaces. Here you can see our collision algorithm handle two simple cubes. Our algorithm can also handle a high number of colliding embedded surfaces. Here you can see both our fracture evolution and our collisions. We shoot a thin sheet from the side. The bullet speed is as high as 100 meters per second, and the results are slowed down to show the effects. We pull apart a jello block. The propagation speed can be controlled through the energy release rate. We can also tear apart complex geometries. or hit it with multiple projectiles. As before, the impact happens at 100 meters per second and is shown in slow motion. Finally, we shoot a bullet through a block of jello.